Hey YouTube, Matt M. Roy back again. Well, as I promised in the other video, um, once I got the uh, Toshiba uh, satellite uh, Windows 2000 system set up, I would do a video on it. So, here it is everybody. Um, again, I did go with Windows 2000 just because of the, of the specs on this computer. Um, it's a Intel Celeron 1 GHz uh, CPU, so it's based on the Pentium 3. Uh, 512 megabytes of memory and a 20 gig hard drive. Um, the main reason for going Windows 2000 is that 20 gig hard drive because Windows XP will take up the better part of that just for the operating system. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you that it is running Windows 2000. There's Service Pack 4. Some information there. And it's the x86, fan, uh, number 6 in the family, model 8, stepping 10. And there's the actual memory. That's what I like about Windows 2000. It shows the actual memory available to the system, which is 507,376 uh, kilobytes, or 507 megabytes of RAM. If we go and look in the hard drive section here, uh, drive C. See, with Windows 2000, now I've put some programs on this already, but you see with Windows 2000, I still have almost 16 gigabytes free. The operating system with just the basic programs only uses 2.71 gigabytes of hard drive space. We'll go in and I'll show you. I did get all of the uh, device drivers in here. That took, it was a little bit of a chore to get the uh, video driver, though, because this computer were, uh, obviously was actually made just for Windows XP. Um, but luckily, I was able to search the internet and find a, a Windows 2000 compatible driver. As you can see, it is the Trident Video uh, Accelerator Cyberblade XP, and then you can read all the numbers over there. I'm sure this is a very uh, unusual graphics card. Like I said in the previous video, I, I only remember Trident pretty much from DOS era days. Maybe Windows 3.1, but once Windows 95 hit, I, I hardly ever heard of Trident. I, that's when you start getting to the uh, 3DFX, uh, Voodoo cards, and then you know NVIDIA started getting on the scene about that time. Um, it is a DVD-ROM that's in here. Toshiba, D re just regular DVD-ROM, no CD burner. Um, let's see, the network... Um, it's just a uh, Intel Pro 100 Ethernet, no wireless in this. Um, the card bus is, I believe, for a for the um, FireWire port. Yeah, it's got the triple E FireWire port. Not that it would be of any help uh, in this system because I can't imagine doing any kind of video editing on something like this. One of my 20-minute videos would take up basically this whole hard drive. As you can see, what it is is uh, it's this AdaptTech um, FireWire and USB 2.0 combo card. That's what it's showing right there. And you definitely need this because the rest is just USB 1.1. It is incredibly slow installing anything with that. Uh, just the basic programs I usually use on here. Um, I did put Opera on here, uh, Fire, uh, Firefox, CC Cleaner. Uh, a vast antivirus. That one, just for you guys that are interested in uh, maybe building your own Windows 2000 system, this right here is the latest version of a vast that'll work on Windows 2000. It's program version 6.0.1506. That is the very latest one that'll work with this operating system. Um, and if you Google search, what you do is you Google search a vast for Windows 2000, there's a website called Old Apps, and you can get it there. As you can also see, I saved that wallpaper from the original installation. I put that on a floppy disk with a few other pictures that were on here that I liked, and uh, just copied it over to this installation. I really like this wallpaper. It's a shame it's it's so low resolution that it wouldn't work on my uh, gaming system or my main rig. So what I thought we would do. Is, is go ahead and play a game on here real quick because a bunch of you guys have been asking me to do some gameplay videos. Well, I have something a little different in mind here than you probably do. The Amazing Spider-Man. 
This is actually a DOS game um, from the late 80s, maybe early 90s. And we're going to go ahead and give this a try here. Insert it in the floppy drive. And I know the floppy drive does work. And there we go. Spider-Man. And it's called Spidey. <laughs> this is the executable in this case. Now this menu is interesting. See if see if see if you guys remember this from back in the day. Right here, it's asking me to choose the type of uh, basically display adapter I have. Number one is the standard VGA, and then two is EGA, three is a Tandy color display. Now I do remember that from back in the day. I had a Tandy, but it actually just used the CGA display, which is number four, and then the Tandy 16 color is number five. Um, in this case, because this is a modern, fairly modern Super VGA monitor, the best we can do is uh, number one, so VGA. Once you choose that, the game loads. Yeah, the amazing Spider-Man. Now, the audio is not that great, unfortunately, because it's running off the disc right now, so it hesitates. through that. <laughs> yeah, graphics are pretty good for a game this old. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a new game. So I'm going to hit 1. And there you go. Now, it's because of the resolution set um, fairly high on this, the game is not really designed for this particular uh, system. So I, the, the picture is kind of small, so I'm going to kind of zoom in here. I'm going to try to play this a little bit. It's hard, kind of hard to do one-handed. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now it looks like I'm falling through here. Let's see what that. See what to do here. It's really interesting. I, I I downloaded this game. This is an abandonware game I got online probably about a year ago and never really played it that much. I don't know if there's any kind of weapons or anything like that. Let's see if there's a help. No help in this. Usually, usually if you shoot a weapon, it's like control or something, but may not be one in here, so I'm just gonna jump over this guy. Ah. Didn't quite make it there. Let's see if we can go through. Oh, looks like we can walk on walls, apparently. Not sure what to do from here. Again, guys, I'm I, I'm a casual gamer, so I'm not really a, I'm not really hardcore. Okay, I'm assuming what you have to do is probably hang onto the wall and then climb up to this area right here. Let's see what we can do. See if I can jump. Out oh, there, oh, kind of. Ah, I hit the wrong button. But you guys kind of get the idea. Let's try that one more time. I think what I have to do is hit the right. Yep, there we go. Let's see if we can jump. No. I'll probably have to do it from this. There we go. Don't have to sneak there. <laughs> if there's a way we can do that. Alright, so that's just a little gameplay. Um, we can exit out of this for right now. Uh, yes, I want to exit. Interestingly enough, um, the arrow keys will, will work on this too. A lot of times the old games, you have to actually just physically hit the number, but in this case, the arrow keys will move it to the number, but you still have to hit the actual number once it's there. Hit enter, it won't do anything. So now that I'm on number three, I have to hit number three. They'll ask me, do I want to quit? And yes, I do.
Well, anyway, so that's just a quick review um, of the operating system that is definitely going to stay on this computer. I have no plans to put XP on this again whatsoever. Um, I, even though XP could theoretically run it and, and run on it well, it would definitely need some more memory. Um, the only way this would ever run XP properly, it would have to bump the RAM up to at least a gig, and then of course replace that 20 gigabyte hard drive. Anyway, so this is doing pretty well. Um, if I make any changes in the future, I'll be sure to uh, do another video on this. Until then, have a blessed day, everybody.